you. Okay. So eight dollars is the median net worth of black households versus two hundred forty-seven thousand five hundred dollars for white families in Boston. What's your initial reaction to that kind of stuff? That's. I did not think that the wealth gap was that big. I just think that's crazy. In the U.S., black individuals are twice as likely to be unemployed than white individuals. Once employed, black individuals earn nearly 25% less than their white counterparts. I'm not very surprised at this statistic because all over, especially in the community that I'm from, this is a very huge issue that my town suffers, especially from Hispanic and black individuals who seek employment and um, are no longer able to get employment or it's very limited and they get paid significantly less to work in labor jobs and factories and companies than white individuals. In 2021, women earn 82 cents for every dollar earned by men. This equates to a median salary for men that is roughly 18% higher than the median salary for women. It makes my work even more personal as a woman and especially as a woman of color to continue to prove ourselves and to continue to keep up the good fight, even when the odds and the statistics prove against us. Thank you. 71% of LGBTQ plus youth in our study reported discrimination due to either their sexual orientation or gender identity. That's, I mean, reading that, it just is certainly alarming to understand that so many so many young people are feeling in anguish and unsafe by just trying to be themselves and find themselves, especially during such a pivotal time when they're trying to establish who they are in the world. In order to sort of um, combat these social issues, we need to hear from the people that sort of experience these issues. With the Playbook Initiative, I've learned to listen with respect and also to make sure to listen to everybody's voices and make sure that every single voice is being heard. What's really important is diversity and becoming a global citizen and understanding the value of community. When you're not able to be exposed to people who think differently than you and look differently than you, you have a harder time valuing community. I think the world has come to this point where humanity wants to feel comfortable with a group that looks like them and feels like them, but that's not the world that we live in. The beauty of humanity is that everyone is different, but there is this level of uncomfortability that um, comes with understanding that. And I think everyone needs to be vulnerable to see that in themselves.